this is where I just try to answer as many as my emails as I can and hopefully adding some Fusion 360 value to you. If you haven't already, I would really appreciate if you hit that subscribe button and hit that little bell notification so you make sure you get all the videos. Thumbs up if you like these, thumbs down if you don't. And as always, I love your comments. Let's jump right into it. Let's just hammer away at some emails. The first one is from Dave. And Dave says, first off, really enjoy all your videos. Thank you, Dave. Um, I got a question. I searched many of your importing files videos and also others, but could not really find the answer I was looking for. I bought a couple of DXF files to use with my CNC plasma cutter to make a metal address sign for the front of the house. That's cool. Um, I have some insert and some issues that when I insert them, I get some yellow lines and it looks like it won't cut those yellow lines inside of cam. Let's jump in and take a look at it. So switching over to Fusion 360 and Dave sent along the files. Let's go insert, let's go insert uh, DXF. And uh, you get prompted to select a plane first, select a file and we have the three files. So we're gonna start with the plaque here, hit open to that. Um, and that gets brought in there, cool. A um, couple of things you will notice over here, you get a menu, you can change units, different things. Um, also, before I hit OK, um, notice that you can move this part right now. Now, if I go to the top view here, it might be easier, easier to see. So rotate it 90 degrees here. Um, you can grab this little square and you can move the part around. Um, and I would actually probably try to place my audience somewhere around there where it maybe makes a little bit more sense. So place it like... Maybe I want it in the center, I'm an old mold maker. Uh, place it right there and, and hit OK. And uh, you will see that we end up with a sketch down here that we can right click and we can go in and edit. So now we're in standard sketch mode. That's what a, when you bring in a DX, DXF file, becomes sketch. Now I prefer, I have found a, the best ability I get is by fixing this. By the way, Dave, I don't see any yellow in here. Um, everything looks pretty blue. So um, there have been some updates to Fusion 360 since you sent your email, so uh, maybe try to check that. But what I would do is I will hide, I would highlight this whole thing, drag a window over it, right click and select fix. Now everything's gonna turn green and you're gonna get a lot of, of points that shows up. I wouldn't worry too much about that. Um, so let's hit finish sketch. And so this is locked down, right? Um, so that's why I'm doing that. I don't want to try to put dimensions on everything. Let's go in and bring in the other two files. Let's go here and say insert DXF. Select the same plane here. Select the folder and go and select the number one. That comes in there. Um, I'm just going to leave it there. Hit OK for a second. And let's go and insert the other one. Insert, insert DXF. Select that plane. Select the folder and number two. So that comes in there. All right, I don't know, um, hit okay with that. I don't know, Dave, what number you you live in, 12, 21, 112, 112. okay. Uh, but let's just move these around a little bit. Now you'll see that they're pretty big. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I actually open them up into this number one. I opened up in this when I had the other sketch open. I actually didn't want that. I'm gonna go and edit this. One of them is separate sketches. Delete that one out of that. Let me just insert DXF. I had the sketch open, I think, when I go up, went up and opened the other one. Uh, okay, there we go. Free sketches. So there's our first one. There's number two, and there's number one. We could actually reorder these down there. So now this is number one. It's number two. You can drag uh, operations around down here. All right. They look a little big. I'm gonna right click and hit edit and go into number one here and uh, go in and there's in the modify in the sketch, there's a sketch scale. So we could go in here and highlight that. Select something to scale over, what I don't really care about right now. Let's make it 0 0.25, 0 0.25, that might be a little small, 0 0.5, 0 0.4, 0 0.4 might look good. Hit okay to that. Now with this sketch, um, in still editing the sketch, I am literally gonna hover over that, right click and fix that. 
Make that a habit whenever you're working with files like this and importing it, a lot of sketch geometry, that either you fully define it with sketches or you fix it. Uh, leaving it just all blue, um, I've talked about it before, my $500 mistake, and it can actually also make the software work a little weird. So going to do the same thing to number two here. Scale that down, what did we say, 0.4? think so and I'm gonna I'm gonna leave this right now because I'm gonna finish the sketch and leave that still blue because you can't you can't move the text if it's if it's fixed right then it's locked down in place so I'm gonna leave that one blue I'm gonna click the move tool here make sure you have it on the sketch object highlight that and now I can move that number two down to about where I want it again Dave I don't see these yellow lines you're talking about um so maybe try try again i'm gonna hit edit sketch i'm gonna go in here and i'm gonna make sure that i select this right click and i'm gonna fix it again so make sure you always fix your sketch entities let's go back to number one right click edit sketch and right click and whoops I have something selected. Highlight it, right click and unfix it. Finish sketch, go to the move command up here. Make sure sketch object is selected. And uh, now we can move this one down wherever we think that that belonged down there. And you could create some construction lines to kind of make sure they're lined up. That's what I actually would do for sure. Um, oh, let me just fix that, edit. Um, now, another thing I wanted to show that I think that some people's going to like is, um, so Fusion, so now I got it somewhat close to what I want. Um, Fusion is, you know, a solid model. That's why most of you guys are liking it and using it. But you can actually, in the manufacturing workspace, we actually don't need to, uh, to turn it into a solid to be able to machine it, what many people don't know. Um, we can actually leave this, Dave. So um, if we go into uh, manufacture in here and um, we're going to select the setup and I'm going to switch this over to cutting. You said you had a plasma cutter. Select that right there. Um, and I'm just going to hit OK. It's going to give me a warning that there's no solids. Um, just it, it's not a it's not a well, there's a warning, I guess. It's not an error. It's just giving you like, hey. You don't have any solids in this model. What we're going to say is fine. Um, and then we can go up to the 2D cutting. Select the tool. And if we scroll down to the bottom here, we actually have some profile tools. One of them being a plasma cutter. You can go in and and um, and edit this so you get the, whatever curve you have on your plasma cutter. And then now because this is not a solid, we do have to uh, to select more options we can't just select the face one of the cool things about the the 2d cutting uh tool pads that we're using right now so for either plasma water jet and laser is you can actually select the face and it understands that it's going to select every profile around that so for this here you will have to go in and select all um all these edges but so um your first thing dave i don't see those yellow lines so maybe try Again, um, but know that when you bring it in and you play around with it, there is some best practices like uh, selecting uh, the text and locking it down with the fix command just to make sure that it can't uh, move around. Because remember, Fusion as a mechanical CAD software needs to, um, to solve uh, all of those. Dum -dum -dum -dum. Last one here, I think. Did I select everything? It looks like I selected pretty much anything. It's a bit hard to see now where we have um, all these points, but they are not circles. They are circles. I'm going to select, select selected everything. I'm going to hit OK, and it's going to create the, calculate the tool path. And uh, now we can actually go ahead and uh, we can sort of simulate that. There we go. Hit the simulate button and uh, Press the play button, and we will now get uh, those tool pads. We can simulate and make sure that everything looks good, and um, and there we uh, there we go. 
I hope that uh, I hope that was useful, Dave. Uh, the first one here. I thought that one was kind of kind of cool. Bringing in the DXFs again. If you get those errors again, shoot me another email, Dave. Uh, maybe we'll screen uh, capture of those so I can just take a look at it. Like it? Thumbs up? Thumbs down? That's okay. Love your comments. Maybe somebody has something to add to this. Love it.